All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless you all. I'm Jarvis Kingston, and I hope that y'all doing all right and staying strong and solid in these times that we're in. I pray that you have repented and that you were baptized. I pray that you are safe, protected, and prayed out. And I just pray that whatever situation that you're going through, that the Lord is with you, that he guides you, protects you, he looks out for you, he comforts you. I pray that your mental health gets better and that you become more strong and wise in the Lord. I pray that you keep fighting a good fight of faith. You keep running your race. You keep your eyes fixed on the Messiah. You keep your eyes fixed on the prize. You stay on that narrow straight gate path and you help out plenty of people along your journey forevermore. Amen. Always remember that the Lord will never leave you nor forsake you and that the Messiah intercedes for you. The spirit intercedes for you as well. So always stay thankful, grateful, appreciative and take it one day at a time. Most definitely, let us thank the Lord for another day. Let us thank the Lord for waking us up and giving us another day to seek his face. Let us thank the Lord for food in our belly, clothes in our back, and a roof over our head. And let us thank the Lord for protecting us coming in and going out. Guiding us through the morning, getting us through the afternoon, getting us through the evenings, getting us through the nights, getting us through the week, the weekend. He is constantly looking out for us with his grace, mercy, favor, love. The outstretched arm of God, the mighty hand of God, the finger of God, his word, his only begotten son who died for our sins. There's plenty of things the Lord has done for us throughout our lifetime and continues to keep doing for us because his mercy is everlasting and his truth endures forever. Amen. So always keep him first. Always worship him. Praise him. Thank him. Call on him. Sing a song to him. Trust him in everything you got going on in your life. Hallelujah. Amen. Definitely. Welcome, everyone. I appreciate all of you for listening and supporting. It means a lot to me. I love you all. Praying for you all. Let us always uplift each other in Christ and encourage each other in the Lord. Let us always pray for each other, intercede for one another, comfort each other, lift each other up. All those great, awesome, amazing things, people. Brothers and sisters of faith all over the world, let us be together on one accord for the Lord. Amen. Much love to the 12 tribes of Israel scattered all four corners of the earth. All the scattered Israelites among the nations, all ends of the earth. Much love to the churches and ministries out there with the sound doctrine, the peace, the love, the harmony, the fellowship and the services. Much love to the previous martyrs, the current martyrs, and the future martyrs, the brave, bold, isolated, courageous believers who are going through it for the gospel, who are being persecuted for the faith, who are going through many tribulations for his namesake. Stay strong, steadfast, firm, and encouraged. We are with you always forever. Much love to the great tribulation saints down the road. Much love to all the grafted in Gentiles of all nations, tribes, languages, tongues, races, faces, kindreds all over the world. Much love to all the brand new converts out there, all the new creatures of Christ out there, all the born again people, all the Holy Spirit filled people. Much love to all of you out there. Anyone who just repented, God bless you. Anyone who just got baptized, God bless you as well. Anybody who's having dreams, encounters, visions, or testimonies, encounters with the Most High, God bless you also. If you did not repent and get baptized, go repent and get baptized ASAP immediately. Shalom, family, greetings to all of you. Welcome everybody, all peoples, all nations, all tribes, all languages, all tongues, all races, all faces, all kindreds, everybody. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. All the animals, all the creatures, all the beasts, all the fish in the sea, the birds in the air, the trees, the plants, the mountains, all the insects. Let all of God's creation praise him. Amen. Whether you are an Israelite or a Gentile, it is all right. Whether you are chosen or adopted, grafted in, it is all right. Let us gather together and praise the Most High. Sing a new song. Clap our hands. Stomp our feet. Praise him. Rejoice. Always rejoice. Make a joyful noise. Make a joyful sound. Cry out to him. Dance. Express yourself. Play an instrument. Do what you have to do for the Most High. He is always watching us, so always serve him with gladness and joy, and always worship in spirit of truth. Amen. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Love the Lord your God for your mind, heart, soul, strength, and might. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. And let's keep doing Father's business and Father's will for the rest of our lives till the sun comes back. Amen. He's coming back like a thief in the night in the twinkling of an eye. He's come back at an hour nobody knows but the Father. Let us be alert, sober, vigilant, watchful, prayed up. Washed by the water, by the word, the washing of the water through the word. Let us keep our lamp in oil. Let us stay on our purpose and call for the most high God. Let us know the Lord better. Let's get more close to him. Let's seek his face. Draw near to God. He'll draw near to you. Let's obey the gospel. Let's obey the law, statute, commandments. Let's obey all of God's word. Anything the most high has told us personally, according to our life, our calling, our purpose, our situation, our gifts, our talents, our circumstances, handle it, people. Keep it all together for the most high. Keep the faith. Keep the word of God. Keep the testimony of the Messiah. Keep the law, statute, commandments, decrees, precepts, ordinances, covenants, judgments, charges, everything. Write a copy of the Torah from Genesis all the way to Deuteronomy. Jot by tittle, line upon line, precept upon precept, a little here and a little there. Constantly just get a five-subject notebook, get a pack of 24 pens, and get a Bible, and write a whole copy of Genesis all with the Deuteronomy. Embrace the new covenant and stay strong out there, people, okay? Remember, you are redeemed, you are forgiven, you are loved, you are embraced. You are not alone. God is always with you, amen? So today's message, what I'll do is just go through Jen DeLeon's church note, and then from there, I will close out with the prayer. I will close out with the priestly blessing. I will close out giving all the praise, honor, and glory to the Most High God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and praise His only begotten Son who died for our sins. Amen. Hallelujah. So here we go. 
All right, the time of this church note is called Ugly Trust. It starts off with Psalms 34, and it goes through verses 1 through 8. To continue with the church note, if you're seeking God, what are you afraid of? If he heard you, what are you afraid of? If you trust him, what are you afraid of? You know how when you call Siri and she starts telling you stuff, you could say, hey, Holy Spirit, and he'll hear you. Saul was insecure. He didn't ask God what he should do. He did whatever he thought he should do just to make sure that he kept what he thought he had. But that's the surest way to lose it. If you keep an open hand to God, he can fill it. But if you close your fist around what God gave you, he will have to pray, pry your fingers off of it. God will never allow anything to happen in your life that doesn't first pass through his hand. You're having to trust God in between something that he spoke to you and something that you're going through on the way to where he spoke to you. Your enemy recognizes you and knows what you're capable of sometimes more than you do. You feel like you're going crazy, but at least you're losing it in church. You don't know what you don't know what's next. And when you pray about it, you feel like you're not getting a clear answer. It's not a feeling of trust. It's a decision of trust, despite the evidence that God's way isn't working. None of us trust God all the time like we wish we could. Like we wish we did. When you go between moments of trusting God and I don't know what to call these moments, humanity doesn't mean you don't trust him. Faith isn't always fancy. Seeking God doesn't mean you won't think fearful thoughts. When you cry, he heard. When you pray, he heard. When you said, I can't, he said, I can. To seek the Lord doesn't mean you'll know what he's doing, what he's going to do every step of the way. Sometimes the job you're supposed to have isn't even open yet, so you get rejected three times for jobs you think you'd be perfect fit for. It. But the truth is, if you got that job, it would be become a snare to you for the door that God is going to open. Amen. You don't have to worry about the next 50 things. Just worry about the next big thing. You're fired from you're fired from being God. The next best thing you're going to do is connected to the next thing God is going to do that you don't even know about yet. You do the next right thing. You have character. You have integrity. You just move on. You forgive. You be bigger than them. Don't go back and forth with other people like Saul did. In due time, he will lift you. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the most high God of heaven and earth. Yes, he is the God of Shem. He is the God of Abraham. He is the God of Isaac. He is the God of Jacob. He is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob forever. He is the God of Israel. He is the God of the Hebrews. He is the God of Jeshurun. He is the Lord of the armies. He is the God of Noah, Job, and Daniel. Hallelujah. Praise him. He is the God of David. Hallelujah. Praise the most high God always. His only begotten son died for our sins. It rose up three days later. Much love to the Messiah for shed his blood for all of us. Hallelujah. Praise him. He is the last Adam, the second Adam. Praise the Lord. He is the advocate. Hallelujah. Praise him. The almighty, true living God. Praise the Lord. The Alpha and Omega. Amen. The apostle of our profession, the arm of the Lord, the atonement sacrifice for our sins, the author and finisher of our faith, the author and perfecter of our faith, the author of life, the author of salvation, the beginning and the end, the beginning of creation of God, the beloved son, the blessed and only potent, the blessed and only rule, the blessed and only sovereign, the branch, the bread of God, the bread of life, the bridegroom, the capstone, the captain of salvation, the chief cornerstone, the chief shepherd, Christ, the Christ of God, the consolation of Israel, the cornerstone, the counselor. Wonderful counselor, the creator, the day spring, the deliverer, the desire of the nations, the door, the elect of God, Emmanuel, Emmanuel, God is with us, eternal life, everlasting father, faith and true witness, faithful and true, the faithful witness, the first and last, the first begotten, the firstborn from the dead, firstborn of all creation, the forerunner, the gate. The glory of the Lord, God, the good shepherd, the great high priest, the great shepherd, the head of the church, the hair of all things, the high priest, holy and true, the holy one, the hope, the hope of glory, the horn of salvation, the I am, the I am, that I am, the I am, who I am, the great I am, the image of God, Jehovah, 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 Jireh, Jehovah, Shalom, Jehovah, Nassai, Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus, the judge of Israel, the judge, king eternal. He is the king of Israel. Amen. He's a king of kings. Hallelujah. He is the king of kings and Lord of lords. Hosanna, Hosanna, in the highest praise. Hosanna, the son of David. Blessed be he that comes in the name of the Lord. We have blessed you out of the house of the Lord. King of saints, king of the ages, king of the Jews, the king, the lamb, the lamb of God, the lamb without blemish, the last Adam, the lawgiver, the leader, commander, the life, the lie of the world, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the living one, the living stone, the Lord, the Lord, our righteousness, the Lord is holiness, the Lord is my banner, the Lord is my portion, my strength, my rock, my refuge, my good fortress, my high tower, my shield, my buckler, my strength, my safety, my defense, my deliverer, my redeemer, my salvation, my helper. Our provider forever. Praise him. Yah. Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahweh, 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 Yeshua, Hamashiach, Barakatha, Shalom, Shalom, Yeshua, Elohim, Yehosha, Yehusha, Yehosha, Ahai, Yeshaya, Adonai, Abba. He is a consuming fire. He is the father of heavenly lights. He is the father of the fatherless, the father of widows, the father of mercies. He is the God of heaven and earth. His sons at the right hand of him. The government rests on his shoulders. He's the great physician, could cure all things.